Hello everyone, welcome to MJ Hobby Corner, uh, MJ here, and uh, today I have a little update uh, on uh, some of the stuff I was working on today in the studio. I'm doing a lot of editing right now, I'm editing a Stargrave game and also a Rangers of Shadow Deep game. But I did get a little bit of studio time and I'm working uh, heavily on these Starship builds. Now what I'm showing you here in this photo is an old method that I used to use with sprues and cardboard so the old sprues from uh, model kits and I would cut them up and make these ships but I abandoned that method some time ago and uh, now that I'm looking at it, it actually looks kinda like orc ships if I uh, add a little bit more junk to them they kinda look like junk ships and so maybe for a little orc fleet or something they might be uh, good for like FTL or something like that um, so this was an older method and that's what I'm showing you here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using this method. I still use bits of sprues because it's a great way to recycle them to do uh, details on my ships. But uh, this is pretty much abandoned. So next I'm going to show you another old method that I had and this is using clothespins. But uh, this was a very time consuming method. This, these ships are all made of wood. So it's all wood and uh, you know toothpicks and, and green stuff to make the turrets, a, a lot of different materials. But I abandoned this method as well. Uh, the ships, these ships are actually quite large. I am thinking of actually turning these into a space station by joining them together. So maybe that's what they will result in. Now my newest method is the uh, styrofoam starships and that is an extremely successful method that I'm not going to do away with uh, basically I take bits and pieces of styrofoam join them together with a wire skeleton and then I use a pencil and score in all the details so basically carve the foam with the pencil and I've had great results and I can build these very very quickly so I can have a fleet in, in no time you know by using this method so this is a very successful method and uh, uh, most of you know and I've shown this technique uh, already in the channel most of you know that I have quite the collection of starships of uh, scratch builds using the styrofoam method and and this is an example of all those starships right so uh, I have quite a few fleets going on here including some uh, alien high fleets that I'm going to be using in FTL. So there's the alien hive ships. Okay, so there's quite a, a few of them, and that's a mixture of plastic bits and foam and plastic plants and all that stuff. So I have videos on my channel on all that stuff. So these are the older methods, but I love to experiment with new things. And this is the newer method that I'm experimenting with. I'm still using uh, clothespins as skeletons. And here I have a uh, what I'm calling a Neptune class heavy frigate, which is the slender one, and a uh, Orion class battle cruiser. That's the other one there that you're seeing right in front here. And this one involves using the clothespins as a skeleton because I like the shapes that clothespins can give me and uh, gluing those clothespins together to get a, an interesting shape then adding details with uh, tin cans so I take a tin can cut it up flatten the the sheets of tin and then I have a ton of material to use for the details of these ships and I'm really really liking the uh, way these ships are coming out so this is the frigate, this is the first one I built, and I gave it a spray a coat of uh, silver spray paint just so that I can see it in one color. I don't have any more, I have to buy more spray paint, and that's all I had, so I gave it a silver coat, and that's what you're seeing here, and you're going to see the battle cruiser uh, painted with silver in just a bit. But what I'm showing you is the raw build. And I like showing it this way so that you guys can see the difference as the ship gets painted and, and as it's finished. So I, it has details all over, uh, down below, you know, the profiles, the top portion of the hull. All of it is detailed with tin. 
And once I finish uh, with the tin, I then begin to add other things like toothpicks, wires. I even use uh, the uh, wooden balls that you use to make um, necklaces. Well, I'm using that here as the engine, as you see right there. And I add wire to it so that it's not so plain. And uh, what I love about the tin is you can really shape it and uh, it gives you very interesting shapes and um, so it's very effective and I'm using several kinds of adhesives I'm using uh, crazy glue I'm using contact cement and even white glue uh, PVA glue the real thick one the tacky glue I love that stuff and these are the tools that I use I use my bent scissors uh, on the right there I use my wire cutters which are my primary cutters for the wood for everything my exacto blade I use some pliers needle nose pliers and of course also tweezers because I am dealing with very very small details at times so all these tools help this is a, an old saw blade that I use and I use that to cut my uh, clothespins because uh, that changes the shape of the clothespins and I, I use it for a lot of the detailing. I also use wires. There's floral wire and 18 gauge wire that I get at Walmart in the necklace making section. And uh, then of course old sprues. I still use old sprues to detail the ships. Uh, and I use those little round bits that come in the sprue. Those often make the base of uh, turrets, weapons. And of course, tin cans. Julie and I both drink a lot of Sprite, and so I have a ton of material to recycle. And that's one thing that's very important in my builds. I love recycling materials, so that's why I do it. And there's the sheet of tin. I've cut it all up because I've used bits and pieces to uh, detail the hull of my ships. I also use um, old, the parts of, um, oh, those plastic straps that you use uh, to tie things, the tie, tr tie straps. Jeez, I can't think tonight. I use those, and you can see that here in the bow of the ship, uh, how I use that piece. I cut it up. And I use it as a uh, detail on the ships and I really like the way it looks this is a skeleton of a ship that I'm gonna be working on this is gonna be a different faction and of course it uses clothespins there is the battle cruiser finished you can see some heavy uh, anti-ship missiles that's what those uh, little um, toothpicks that I cut up that I put in the front on the like winglet there that's what those things represent and I added a bunch of weapons and turreted weapons and all this stuff um, that's something new for my uh, starship builds I never used to do that and now I'm doing it it makes the ships look more interesting and uh, this is to give you an idea this photo of all of the structural detail that I work on I mean there is wire in here and I do a lot of intricate work with the tweezers and the disadvantage of this technique is that it takes a long time. It makes really cool looking ships, but it takes a long time. One ship of a, using this method, and I can do like two or three foam ships, okay? So this is gonna take a while, but, but I like it. I like the technique, it really, allows me to use my imagination and I can do there's the Neptune class frigate I can do all kinds of shapes by cutting up the tin in different shapes and using the clothespins to make different skeletons right um, here is a view of the turret and some of the weathering uh, I use uh, glue actually for some of the weathering and you can see a turret there and I use needles you can see the pins for the masts uh, that helps a lot too. I just insert that needle right into the wood and then add a little bit of crazy glue and that's it. So these are the two ships that I have with this new method of clothespins and tin. And using the contact cement and the... Okay, so moving on a little bit. Um, here is the bow of the ships. 
and uh, so again you know now I, I spray painted the um, new cruiser just to give it a, a you know a little coat of paint so I can see how everything looks and there it is you know uh, it's a good technique it really is and uh, as I said earlier I'm not sure uh, how many ships I'm gonna make uh, these are all capital ships I'm going to work on a heavy uh, crew uh, carrier and a couple of smaller ships that's what I really need uh, with this technique is some smaller ships so uh, things like you know Corvettes and uh, and mine layers mine sweepers using kind of a naval designation right um, so we'll see we'll see uh, how how many ships I can make with this project so again I'm going back a little bit here and I'm showing you the uh, sort of raw cruiser with all the sticks and everything else um, it's a neat build I really I really enjoyed it so how long did this take me this one ship I'm actually getting faster the cruiser uh, that I'm showing you there which is the one that's not painted that one took about three hours to do so it's not as bad as the frigate the heavy frigate actually took me longer and there I'm showing you you know more details uh, of some of the stuff that I, I used uh, for the hull detail including some of the you know when I take the clothespins apart you have that metallic spring piece um, that piece I'm actually using in the build especially towards the engines of the ships and it gives me some nice details but there you can see wire I've actually connected wire in between the tin and underneath the tin and uh, that's what gives me all of this hull detail you know so pretty cool I, I you know I I think I'm gonna try and expand these kinds of builds and use these builds more often we'll see you know and uh, again I think this is repeated uh, I, again I was just showing you the uh, detail of the lower hull so um, I'm going to show you something else in a minute uh, one of the things that I'm looking to do here is a foam uh, foam ship this is a freighter together with the new uh, builds that I'm, I'm making now the new ships and I mean there's no reason why I couldn't mix them together you know um, I don't have to be as puritanical and just use the new builds right I can mix them with the older foam builds that's fine uh, so yeah it looks kind of cool now this is a tiny fighter that I'm making with the tinfoil and that's what I wanted to show you not tinfoil tin the tin from the tin cans and basically I just used the paper airplane technique I made you know using paper airplane folds I made a delta shaped uh, starfighter that I can use and just make a bunch of these and stick them to a base and I have a fighter squadron if I make them a little bit bigger because these are tiny look how tiny they are if I make these bigger I can make bombers or drop ships or shuttles just by mixing and matching you know making like different paper airplane folds with the tin so thank you folks for watching I hope this was interesting and, and uh, you will see more on this build in the future thanks a lot